This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 15. I know not a lot of people are excited about this update as it doesn't have like big game changing features, but there are actually a lot of features that are quite big and will make a huge impact on the daily use of your iPhone that probably most people don't know about or you haven't even heard about those features and that you will be able to do such stuff on iOS 15. So in this video, I will show you guys more than 10 amazing big features that are coming to iOS 15 and you probably don't even know about. So normally on your iOS device, when you go to your settings and you change a setting, that will be applied system-wide to all of your apps. With iOS 15, if you go under accessibility, you will have the chance to save per app settings. So you go right here per app settings and all you have to do is just go ahead and add any app that you want. So if I add App Store, then I can go ahead and tap right here and change the settings of App Store. Now these will be applied of course to App Store only. So I can change things like text, I can add bold text, I can enable smart invert or reduce motion or autoplay video previews, anything I want, increase contrast, all of these will be actually enabled just for the app store. So if I turn on here, smart invert, you can see when I go to the app store, smart invert is now enabled by default on the app store. Now, of course I have night mode enabled right now, so probably it won't look that good. So you can actually save per app settings. And this is the list right here. You can add their apps or you can remove them simply Simply by deleting them from the list. Another great new feature of iOS 15 is legacy contact. Now you can find that by going to the top of your settings to you tap on your Apple ID and then go to password and security, you will find their legacy contact. So basically when someone adds a legacy contact, that contact will be able to access and download their data after they pass away. So this is really important. Of course, everyone wants to have their data safe. So you can go ahead and tap right here to add any of your contacts and make that your legacy contact. On the camera of your iPhone, you have probably noticed when you're taking pictures, now this will happen mostly at nighttime where there are lights and stuff like that. You will see a lens flare or maybe even more if there are more lights on the photos. Now iOS 15 has a hidden features which automatically will remove that lens flare from the photos that you do. So once you have taken a photo, that will be automatically removed from the photo. Now moving from one iPhone to another is a real pain. With iOS 15, that will be much, much easier. And by going to settings in general, you will find here transfer or reset iPhone. Now what this does, you can see prepare for new iPhone. If you tap on get started, you will notice right here that you will get extra free storage on iCloud to move your apps and your data. So right here you can see, so you have the five gigs free plan on iCloud. Of course, that won't be enough for anyone to be able to move their data through iCloud iOS 15 gives you the chance to have all of your data on iCloud, of course, as you get this free storage on iCloud to move from one iPhone to another. The next one is the contact widget. I know not a lot of people have talked about this, but this is actually very, very useful. It not just lets you contact one of your favorite contacts from the home screen, but you will have so much more. And this is kind of like an interactive widget as it will display this page right here. Now, when you swipe up, you go back to the home screen. Now from here, you can see what you find. You can FaceTime, of course, call, message, email that contact from here, and you will have everything that you have shared shared with that contact. And you can have here, of course, files, messages, you will have your notes, you can see photos from the messages, and you will have the shared links as well, as well as reminders and everything that you have shared with that contact. Anything you want to find, you can easier find them directly from the home screen by using the contact widget. You don't have to actually go ahead and search within apps for those. Now you can see right here, all of these can also be searched within apps. So if you find something like notes or maybe files, you can just tap on it and it will take you directly to, into the app and find all that stuff that you have shared with that contact. And something I don't see a lot of people talk about is the new ability to remove home pages 
from the home view right here. So when you go to the pages, you can just tap that little minus button right there and that will remove that page completely with all of its apps. Now this is a great feature, but what I like even more is the ability to actually rearrange your home pages. So you can see just like that, you can rearrange your home pages without having to actually move the apps from one page to another. Completely move all of the apps to one page and the other ones to the other ones. This is an amazing feature and a lot of people have actually requested these features once this feature got available on iOS 14 and now they're here on iOS 15 and I believe these are very, very useful. A really cool privacy feature that you will find on iOS 15 is the ability to hide your IP address. Now, this is really important for your privacy. You go to settings and you go to Safari and right here we'll find hide IP address. Now, you can hide it from trackers right here. You can of course turn it off if you want to, but just make sure you tap right there to hide this from the trackers and basically your IP address won't be able to be used to determine your personal information like your location. Now with IP address, your location is very easy to be found. Now when you hide it, of course, using this feature, no one will be able to locate you. And now let's take a moment to thank the sponsor for today's video, Squarespace. Squarespace gives you a powerful and beautiful online platform to create your website, connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content, easily manage your members, send email communications and leverage your audience insights and all of that in one easy to use platform. You can create a community on your Squarespace website with a fully integrated commenting system that supports threaded comments, replies, and likes as well. With Squarespace, you get very powerful e-commerce capabilities, but you can also extend them using Squarespace extensions. And these third-party tools will help you manage your inventory, promote your products, and even file sales tax. Go ahead and give it a try by going to squarespace.com, get a free trial, and when you're ready to launch your website, go ahead and go to squarespace slash iReviews to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or a domain. You will find the links right down below in the description of the video. Another great privacy feature can be found under the privacy tab. If you go right here, you will have at the bottom record app activity. Now, if you go here, you can save app activity and this will basically save the app activity for seven days. Now, once it shows right here, you can go ahead and save it to files directly from here or you can just copy. So basically, this will show you a report of when apps have, have had access to your data, your location, your microphone, camera and stuff like that. So all the app activities for the past seven days will be recorded. A cool thing on iOS 14 was the Translate app that Apple has added to iOS and of course the ability to translate pages on Safari. But with iOS 15, you can translate system wide, whether you're on a message or in a note anywhere on iOS, all you have to do is just actually select a text and then you will be able to translate it from here. Just tap right there and choose here from which language to which you want to translate and you will be able to actually translate from those languages. So if we go ahead and choose this, you can see we will be able to actually translate this text and it's not that actually it's not that hard at all. You will be able to actually just tap right there. And once you have downloaded all the languages, you can go ahead and translate to any language you want. Now, when you're talking to, to someone on iMessage and you just want to give them a FaceTime call, you will have, of course, to go out of the iMessage app and go find them on the FaceTime app and call them. With iOS 15, all you have to do is just tap right there. You will, get, you will get that little button right there at the top right corner. And from here, you can FaceTime audio or FaceTime video directly from the conversation here without having to leave the iMessage app at all. Now, when you get a voice message on iOS 14, you will have to tap to play it and you will have to actually listen to that voice message without the ability to scrub through it to go forwards of, or backwards. That, of course, is really, really annoying. But with iOS 15, you now have that ability. You can just scrub easily like this on a voice message on the iMessage app. And on the new Safari app, which I know most people don't like, there's a great feature. Now you will have a microphone here, easy accessible to go ahead and do voice searches just like that by tapping that little button. As easy as that, just search for anything you want quickly on Safari.
So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. These are some amazing features that are coming to iOS 15 that most people don't actually know about. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.